Hello everyone, Nate here back again with another video and today I'm going to show you how to put S8 software on your S7 device. So basically you get infinity wallpapers, camera stickers and every S8 capability that there is out there for your Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So the only things that you're not going to get are Samsung Pay, Samsung Pass and uh, a couple of other Samsung applications, uh, the stock ones. So if you're using those, just leave the video, sorry, that's it. You can't use Samsung Pay, for example, after you have already rooted your device. So if you want to see how this is done, stay tuned in this video. So the first step will be to open Odin 3 version 3.12. So this application will be linked to the description down below. So when you right click on it and uh, then run it as administrator, this window over here, this application will pop up. Then go and click on AP and then browse to this file over here, which also will be linked into the description. So uh, you can see it says TWRP and uh, the version over here. So there is version for uh, Hero LTE is the S7 flat and Hero 2 LTE is uh, S7 Edge. So uh, be sure to download the right one for you. So uh, after you choose it over here, take your phone and uh, unlock it. So this is the same for stock software. Go to settings, go into about phone then go to software information and uh, somewhere over there into this or you see build number click on it seven times and you see that developer mode has been turned on then go back into the main page of the settings scroll down and you see developer options and click oem unlock so that it is on so uh, click on this then go ahead and uh, uh, get out of here press the volume down button, the power button and the home button at the same time. So uh, click them and hold on them until your phone restarts. So uh, right now I'm doing this, I'm holding those three buttons. And uh, you can see that uh, I've entered download mode. So this green screen will pop up. Click the volume up button to continue. And uh, you see that uh, it says this over here. So uh, after that, what uh, you're going to need is to connect your phone to the computer so uh, you just uh, do this and uh, let me just so after you have connected it over here you see that it should see, say add it and uh, after it is added just go ahead and click on the start button over here down and uh, it should uh, restart the phone and as I said your phone should restart so right now my phone is restarting and uh, the second step is to go for example to uh, this page over here I'll link it down into the description again this is Batman ROM S for S7 so this is full S8 port right now this is one of the latest ports and it's just working uh, perfectly so there I'll make a review about it and it will uh, pop up over here so after you've done this you can watch the review or watch the review while you're downloading uh, this software so to download it just go to this page and click over here download and uh, your uh, software should uh, start downloading so after it is downloaded uh, meanwhile my phone uh, has booted so uh, after uh, your ROM has downloaded go and uh, put it uh, either on your phone or into USB flash drive this is all up to you so that you have it on your phone so after you've done all of this and you have put it your ROM onto your uh, your software onto your phone or your flash drive just as I did you will uh, also need to go ahead into the settings then find cloud and accounts then Samsung cloud uh, sorry not Samsung cloud but backup and restore backup settings and uh, just be sure that your backup all of your information over here so you can choose whether you want to backup messages so that after you install your uh, new software your phone will have uh, all of the things just as you left it over here so nothing uh, will actually be deleted uh, all of your photos music and everything will be onto uh, your s8 software as well also if you have any turn message uh, applications for example viber go to settings uh, viber and whatsapp i think are the only one that need this thing uh, go to setting account Viber backup and just backup your things over here so that you can restore them as soon as you uh, uh, make your phone. So right now uh, you should click, uh, you should turn off your phone 
and after it is turned off click at the same time press uh, the power the volume up button the power button and the home button but uh, right now I can just do this and uh, after your phone is turned off just click those three buttons the volume up power and the home button and uh, right now my phone is uh, simulating those button being pressed so this thing will pop up over here and uh, after it pops up you will be asked to swipe over here because you have installed uh, TWRP for the first time it's just swipe this thing over here go to the wipe section swipe to factory reset and uh, also it it should be uh, it is recommended to go to advanced wipe and go to system and also delete the system partition after that just go back to the home page go to install and then just click on select storage click on the storage and just uh, you've put in the file and just find it so for example here it is batman rom s7 s8 version 1.4.0 just swipe on it and uh, after you click it just swipe and right now we're starting to install the the custom rom the s8 software so we're almost done you just wait a couple of seconds over here so that it uh, it just starts the rom the software so you can see over here it is created by Wuka Grifo this Batman UI click on next agree with everything go to installation uh, just click on full wipe this is uh, fully recommended uh, latest uh, bad stock kernel and also be sure to click on update recovery so that your recovery updates over here you can choose uh, what you want so for example finger screen tartar reboot everything is just self-explanatory so click next if you want snapchat to be working be sure that you leave those settings over here like this so this is actually the best settings just leave this thing over here go to next use stock sound and use modded camera so for better quality choose the emojis that you want after that go and uh, click on modded system UI and modded settings so over here uh, just click on modded system UI uh, this is fully recommended because on stock system UI there uh, not everything is uh, still perfect but on modded everything is working flawlessly and over here you can choose whatever you want so I personally like modded settings after that go and update this is um, uh, this must be done go and update your modem and bootloader uh, I personally like stock animations and to keep my current splash screen. I don't like ad blockers as a YouTuber, you know. And over here, you can select uh, which apps you want on your device to be installed. For for example, I don't need the yes browser. I don't also need. You can skip this over here. So something interesting that I just saw over here is that when you scroll a little bit down. Yeah, you can see that there is Bixby so if it, it is uh, by default it is clicked if you want Bixby go ahead and install it also choose the Google application in the next screen the ones that uh, you're going to use just go ahead and install those over here this is a very very important part this is CSK so CSK basically just go ahead and find your country and um, you can see that there is a list full of countries just go ahead and find yours click on it then click next and over here you can choose uh, what CSK specific things uh, you want to have so just click on those that you need and uh, after that click again on to next so let me just click on those ones that I need so yeah these are these click on next and then click install now so right now you can see that uh, it is again wiping your uh, system and partition the things we done at the beginning but it is uh, always recommended to do those by yourself so right now it is just start uh, installing the rom this uh, as you can see over here i'm going to talk during this time this will take you about uh, four to five minutes uh, depending uh, on uh, some things that uh, are not depending by us so uh, let me just talk a little bit about kernels so kernel basically something that uh, right now we're going to install kernel is uh, the thing that is between the hardware and the software so basically kernel is uh, uh, telling uh, the cpu for example to give uh, 50 percent of its power so that the software can uh, launch facebook or 
to the GPU to give 100% of its power to run Real Racing 3, for example. So this is kernel and this is something that uh, we're going to uh, install by ourselves. So there are a couple of different kernels, but the one that I will recommend you and the one that I'm using is Moro kernel. The latest version is 2.0.1. Also, the other good kernel is Notorious kernel, so I'll leave links to both of these down in the description. But right now I'm going to show you how it's done with Moro kernel, because this is the one I'm uh, going to use for uh, uh, my device. So right now you can see that uh, it is uh, installing, it has already installed uh, the stock animations, the system UI, the emojis. And uh, right now it is applying those CSK modes that we chose. It is also installing uh, the applications that you chose into the previous screens. So uh, this is why you should wait a little bit. You can see right now it is updating your TWRP, the thing we done with that application called Odin. And this Magisk version 14.2 is just root. So what you can do with root is basically endless, endless list of things. So right now I will also install dual speaker mode so that my uh, speaker over here acts like as a second speaker. So this is a thing I am doing uh, before reviewing every room. So uh, you can see that the device right now uh, restarts itself, but we're going to stop it. So let me just enter my recovery once again. So right over here I have entered recovery. So uh, I forgot to tell you that kernel is something that uh, and also the dual speaker mode are things that uh, are cannot be also installed. So uh, right now you can see that I stopped the video and entered recovery, but you can just leave your phone to boot and uh, you're good to go. But if you want those two extra things, go ahead in the description and uh, take a look at them. So the first one, uh, I have both of them into the internal storage of my phone. So uh, put those things again into your uh, phone and uh, you can go ahead and just click on them and swipe. So this was the dual speaker mode. It's easy as that. And over here, Moro kernel. So again, these things uh, are uh, uh, things that uh, you install yourself. They are they sh they are not uh, obligatory. You can install it wherever you want. So after you click on Moro kernel, go to English. Then you can see all the change work for those versions. So, for example, I'll let you look at the latest, uh, the latest uh, change work over here. So you can see it uh, basically makes the processor work better right now. So uh, again, Magisk, and uh, I am choosing those two options over here. And right now, it is just installing it. It's uh, manually taking a look at that. My phone is uh, G930 S7 flat, and you can see that it will basically install this. And uh, I'm going to restart my phone so that uh, I have it uh, up and running. So uh, after it installs, you see over here, right now it's back in the stock boot image. So this is something that will take you around half an hour, but uh, will give you uh, just amazing experience. And if you have any questions, just leave them down into the description below. And after that, just click on reboot phone and do not install over here and it will reboot. So my phone just booted up and you can see that you can choose your language and just go ahead and uh, basically install it and uh, set it up as your normal phone. And also be sure to restore your Samsung backup. So uh, I'll just go to this step and uh, let you know where it is. So this screen pops up right after you uh, install your, uh, basically you set up your fingerprint scanner. So I've already done this and you can see that it says Samsung account. Go ahead and sign in. Also, I have full separate Samsung video that uh, uh, already popped up. So uh, be sure that you have uh, checked it out. After that, just uh, type in your uh, email and your uh, password for your Samsung account so that you log in. And you also, you can use a fingerprint or irises to basically fingerprint because this phone does not have iris scanner. And after you log in, just uh, go ahead and... Uh, agree all without, uh, for example, I don't like those three over here. And after this, you can see it is uh, signing in. Go next and you can see it says restore data from uh, the Samsung account. It, this pops up automatically and uh, this may take a while, but it is already done. So uh, over here, it will say S7 for you because uh, I made my backup from uh, an S8 uh, phone. So you can see all of your data is over here. Just click on restore, install, 
and uh, over here click on finish and uh, after you take a look at everything over there so uh, later you search for my location and uh, you can see that right now over here you have your Samsung Galaxy uh, S7 with full S8 software so uh, leave your phone like that so that it installs because you can see right now that it uh, just worked just leave it so that uh, it uh, makes you think it restore it restores uh, your data and uh, it will be working uh, all perfectly fine so uh, basically uh, thank you for watching and uh, i will leave you uh, those applications over here on this application those on the bottom and basically i will leave those uh, up to you so that you take a look at them when you have time and see what they can do so basically just a hint you can just go straight ahead and uninstall uh, busybox and uh, if you don't know what you're doing with m tweaks and you're not interested just don't go over there this is basically the wrong control application i have a full video on it it will pop up over here so take a look at it so again thank you for watching and uh, see you soon